Hey everyone and welcome back to the Superhero Statue Showcase. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to hammer that subscribe button so you stay up to date on the coolest collectibles. In today's video we'll be featuring one of Marvel's most cosmic badasses, Beta Ray Bill, but before we unveil this masterpiece, let's talk a little more about Beta Ray Bill himself. In terms of his background, although he may look like a weird humanoid horse, he's actually an alien from the planet Corbin. Beta Ray Bill received his Asgardian weapon, Stormbreaker from Odin, as a gift after being deemed worthy to wield one of their most powerful weapons. What's also cool about Beta Ray Bill in my opinion are his affiliations. He's more of a cosmic type of warrior, who's rolled with other heroes like the Guardians of the Galaxy, Annihilators, and Silver Surfer. Unlike Thor who spends most of his time in Asgard or Earth, Bill spends time venturing off into other parts of space. So. If you're into the cosmic storylines from Marvel that feature cool guest appearances and crossovers, then this character should fit the bill well. In terms of unveiling this piece, it's pretty impressive. It's listed at around 12 inches, however. I think it's a few inches taller than that if you account for Stormbreaker. If you take a look at the scale, you can see that it extends vertically past 12 inches, which leads me to believe that it's actually closer to 15 inches, nevertheless. This piece projects very well in terms of first look. You can even start to see some personality of the character model and, as we dive in deeper, more and more details will start to shine. Overall this piece gives a ready-to-go action pose and provides us with a worthy statue to stare at. The statue was designed by Yuri Timd and sculpted by Alejandro Pereira Escura. The team over at Iron Studios really put in the work to bring this character to life. It features many different details including armor, weapon, and cape. From head to toe, Beta Ray Bill really showcases his individual essence while keeping the lore of one of Marvel's stronger characters intact. The pose that the team decided to go with also gives us a consistent look at how he interacts with Stormbreaker. While it's definitely a well-structured pose and design, I would have liked to have seen some additional elements added to the statue as well. Elements such as maybe some lightning around Stormbreaker or even strands of it by his legs. That would have really added some additional life to the statue but overall, the design of this statue is indeed incredible. As we start to take a closer look at the details including paint, this is where you really start to see the statue shine. If you start at the top you'll see that there is a myriad of different colored paints used throughout the piece. His head features the Asgardian type feathers on both sides that includes a tremendous amount of detail. You can see all the additional lines and cuts used to connect the individual feathers while the helmet has a nice sheen glare. It doesn't look or feel loose and connects to Bill's head very well without any gaps. His facial features really do the character justice as well. The glow in his eyes, clean teeth, and details on his face pay excellent homage to the character. No details were missed not even his battle-ready expression, which makes it stand out very well. Moving down to the shoulders, this features some really cool build details. The shoulder armor that he's wearing starts to show his strength off. That coupled with his well-defined gym arms really helped push that envelope further. Clearly, Bill is a physical specimen worthy of being called a hero. His hands feature a standard set of gloves that don't add much character, but that's okay because of Stormbreak being held. The details of his axe were done very well in a way that's clean and concise. The position of his arm holding it makes it very masculine and ready to battle with any cosmic threats as well. As we head down to his torso area you'll see that it features a nice set of details throughout his armor. There are multiple shades of blue used to highlight different parts and his muscular physique outline continues here as well. If you move towards the back, here you're given an incredible cape sculpture. It's designed so that cape is in movement and does a great job of not overcomplicating the statue. As for the legs and feet area, this is rather impressive in my opinion. There is a significant amount of details used here, including the gold color contrast to blue. What's interesting to see is that the character model used from the comics feature leg armor that's very similar to the Asgardian Destroyer, which makes Bill look extra badass. When displayed, Beta Ray Bill becomes the centerpiece of any collection. The sculpted base, depicting the shattered ruins of the Rainbow Bridge, Bifrost, adds a dramatic flair to the already incredible figure and helps tell us the story of who it currently is. As a limited edition collectible capped at 3,000 pieces, this statue isn't just a showpiece. It's a collector's dream, 
it comes with a numbered certificate of authenticity, ensuring its value for many years to come. It comes with a price tag of $200 and expected to be released around Q3 of this year. If you're as thrilled by Beta Ray Bill as I am, you won't want to miss out on this statue. Head over to Diamond Select Toys using the link in our description below and secure your piece of Asgardian glory. And if you love collectible statues, make sure to hammer that subscribe button for more awesome content. Alright, fellow collectors, that's our look at the Beta Ray Bill Premier Collection statue. What do you think? Is Beta Ray Bill worthy of wielding Stormbreaker in your collection? Drop a comment below, and let's chat about it. Until next time, keep on collecting.